OK, so let's say we have a right-angled triangle like this, and I label this angle theta, OK? Then what I can say is that this side is the opposite, this side is the adjacent to this angle, and this side is the hypotenuse. Now I know from basic trigonometry that sine theta represents the trigonometric ratio of the opposite over the hypotenuse. And I also know that cosine of theta represents the trigonometric ratio of the adjacent over the hypotenuse. And tan of theta represents the trigonometric ratio of the opposite over the adjacent. OK. Now, seeing as um, tan here is the opposite over the adjacent, OK, what you could do is you could divide top and bottom of that fraction by the hypotenuse, given that the hypotenuse isn't going to be 0, OK? So if I divide top and bottom of this fraction by the hypotenuse, OK, which maintains uh, the fraction, perfectly fine equivalent fraction, I know that the opposite over the hypotenuse, OK, is sine. So the numerator is sine. And the adjacent over the hypotenuse is cosine. So tan of theta must be the same as sine theta over cos theta. And that is a trigonometric identity. OK. Um, now, obviously, to be well defined, OK, Clearly, there is a problem when cos theta is 0, OK? Uh, but aside from that, OK, we have this trig identity that we can utilise moving forward, OK? It's just that cos theta, when it is 0, that's where you get your vertical asymptotes uh, for the tan curve. But this is a trigonometric identity that we need to learn.